Hi, my name is Amanda Rocha. I am an estate planning and probate attorney in California, and today I'm going to discuss whether or not you need a trust or should have a trust if you have a modular or mobile home. Before I get into that, I'd like to give you my contact information. You can find me on my website, www.amandarochalaw.com. You can follow along on my social media, at Amanda Rocha Law, or you can comment down below if this platform allows you to do that. So, question of the day. Do you need a trust in order to avoid probate with a modular or mobile home? I recently posted about this both on my podcast and video form about whether or not a modular or mobile home will trigger probate on its own. And to give you the short answer, most likely not. However, a trust does more than avoid probate. So the first question is, can you have a trust if you have one of those items as your home? And yes, you absolutely can. And you can change title into your trust instead of having it uh, just under your name. That would completely avoid the question of probate no matter what the situation was, regardless of whether you had heirs. As long as the people you are listing in your trust as beneficiaries are alive and able to take and you've made a backup plan. The next question then would be, should you do that? Well, a trust can hold more than one item and typically it does. Usually it has your bank accounts and your home and other items that have title that you need um, to take care of during your lifetime. So having a trust is going to be a calculation based on your entire estate and not just on the home that you own and the type of home that it is. However, if you do own a home that is considered real property, it is most likely going to trigger probate in California, um, so a trust is more necessary. So I would advise you to take an accounting of what your estate looks like. Add up all the totals of your bank accounts, your personal property, any joint property that you have, your half of it, um, and, and kind of see where you're at there. And then ask yourself, who are your potential heirs? If something were to happen to you today or tomorrow, what would happen to your items if you did not have an estate plan in, in place? If you have a very large family and it is very unlikely that somebody wouldn't be around to inherit from you tomorrow if something happened, then maybe there's not as much of a rush. It just depends on what the total is. Probate might still be necessary for them, but they're there. If you have a smaller family and the odds of something happening to you all at the same time are higher, then I would say um, maybe think about getting something done sooner. If you have minor children, you definitely want to make sure that there is a trust or something in place to allow someone to step in and handle that property for them on their behalf until they are old enough to handle it themselves. If you have special needs beneficiaries, it's always a good idea to have a trust. Uh, there are many other reasons to do this. I just think um, the fact that you're watching this video and asking yourself the question, do I need a trust, is enough of a reason to contact me and discuss your estate directly. My strategy sessions are always free and you can schedule them directly on my website, www.amandarochalaw.com or you can follow along on my social media and send me a message that way. I'm at Amanda Rocha Law. And finally, if you are watching this and you'd like to ask a question and this allows you to make a comment down below, please feel free to do so. Thank you.